What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. Very special episode because I will be unboxing or unwrapping um, the Collingwood gear that I bought the other week, um, the new Nike gear. So let's run that intro, jump straight into it. Just before we do jump straight into it, of course, follow me on all my social medias. Twitch, which I will be streaming soon. I keep saying soon, but I will be because I really enjoy streaming to you guys. Um, TikTok, posting a little bit more on there. And Instagram, posting daily Collingwood content, especially during pre-season. There's just heaps of stuff to talk about. But without further ado, let's just get into this unboxing video. All right, so let's go through this merch one by one. Uh, we'll start off with, let's start off with the jersey first. So, first impressions is, feels pretty good. Lightweight-ish, it's a bit of a medium weight. It, de it definitely does feel it's heaps thinner. And as you can see, uh, try and get it in focus. It's got these breathable, these breathable sort of holes. When you're looking at it, from afar, it looks pretty good. And then when you look at it a little bit closer, you can see, you can see all the little holes. I don't know if you can really tell on the, on the, oh, you kind of can on the camera. Little holes. I don't think that it, it takes away um, a lot of it. Nothing's heat pressed, which is really nice on the jersey. You want it sublimated, which means printed straight onto that stuff. Pinstripes look good. That black looks really thick, the black lines. Um, but we kind of knew that. Oh, actually, sorry, the only thing heat pressed is this little Collingwood thing there. So the closest thing I have to compare this to is the ISC um, jersey from uh, 2018, I'm pretty sure. Because I know I wore this when uh, we beat um, Richmond in that final. So that's their jersey. You can see the lines are heaps thinner. So ISC's jersey... Nike's jersey with the three uh, black stripes and obviously this ISC one has got one, two, three, four, five across. Black lines are thinner. Everything is um, sublimated as well. The jersey, they feel about the same weight. This does feel a little bit thicker. Um, the one thing about this one is it's got that little, the ISC one has got that little cuff on it. You can see here. It's got that little white cuff, whereas... This Nike one is just not really cuffed, or the cuff's not accentuated like that. But I like the, um, of this Nike one, I like the little, I like this, uh, this neckline here. And of course, it's got the Nike tick on it, which is really cool. Um, and one thing that I also like as well is this little insignia here, Magpies. I think that's a nice little, uh, little touch, little Easter egg, if you will. So that's the jersey. Overall, out of 10, first one from Nike. They're going to play it safe, obviously. I think I would give it a 7.5 out of 10, mainly just because these sort of holes, I find that they're very... Um, I feel like they're more player-focused than they are um, supporter-based. In the EPL, you can buy uh, fan gear or you can buy player sort of jerseys, which cost a little bit more, but they're exactly the same sort of tight fit and stuff like that. I feel like that's more of a player jersey because we're not going to be running around it to be breathable, but 
you know, 7.5 out of 10 for the Collingwood Clash jersey. So now we're going to move on to the training gear that I've got. The first one is this uh, training top. So, love the feel of it. It looks really nice. The black's nice and, you know, deep and dark as you want black to be. But, everything on here is heat pressed. So, the logo's heat pressed, or all these logos. So, pretty much what it is, it's just a Nike top, and everything else is just heat pressed um, onto it. Even the Nike tick is heat pressed. I think I would much prefer it to be printed onto the T itself, like the jersey was. Um, with this, over time, if you're washing it, and then if you're putting it into the dryer and stuff, that is going to crack a lot. So I do recommend if you got one of these to wash it and uh, wash it. One, wash it inside out, and two, probably don't put it in the dryer. Maybe let it air hang a little bit. But if you do put it in the dryer, you know, inside out. But I'm not a uh, clothing person, so hopefully that's correct. If not, I'm sorry. But let's compare it to Star Athletics one because that's the only one that I have. Everything on the Star Athletics one is printed on. Obviously, I do prefer this. This gets a little bit stiff. You can, you can hear that. Prone to crinkling, which is exactly like this singlet that I've got. I love the singlet. Love this cut. But you can tell that, you know, you are going to get a lot of... Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Around this G, there's a lot of crinkling on that, um, which should come out a little bit. Just doesn't look just doesn't look too good. Maybe because of the maybe because of the fold, but I love the material, love the weight of it. it feels really good. Like I said, love that cut. But yeah, if they were printed onto the um, the singlets themselves or the t-shirts themselves, I think that would be better. Overall, probably give these a six and a half out of ten. Only because actually, you know what? No, I'll change it. I'll give it a I'll give it a seven out of ten. They do feel really nice, but it's just that heat press material that I don't really I don't really like at all. Like it just doesn't. Like, I know it's just cosmetics, you know, if you look at it, it's a bit crinkled, but I just don't really, don't really dig that. But overall, look, I am pretty happy with the jerseys. Uh, they look really good. Gave him, what, seven and a half, and then a seven for those singlets. It's Nike's first year. They can only get better from here. Um, but I love those pinstripes on the Clash. I do recommend that you go grab some. It's got a Nike tick on it, so... That's more of a reason itself to to go buy them. But yeah, guys, let me know if you bought any of the gear down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you rate the jersey. Let me know what you rate the singlets or the hats or whatever. Later on before the season starts, I will be doing a giveaway on a bucket hat and a bunch of other goodies. But like, comment, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, Double Shackers, I'll sweep you all later. Papa. Ooh la la. Thank <laughs> you.